And now to this breaking news, a dire emergency sweeping through the Hawaiian island of Maui. Wildfires burning out of control with mandatory evacuations now underway. And just minutes ago, we learned at least six people are dead and there are fears that number could rise. It happened so fast. Witnesses are calling it apocalyptic. Local media reporting this afternoon the historic town of Lahaina may have been destroyed. My police have the entire west side of the island completely shut down. They're not letting anyone through. Residents describing the island as an inferno. Some people reportedly jumping into the ocean to escape. They were sending boats from Montlaia to help pluck people out of the water because they had just run down and started swimming to get away from the fire. Oh my God. The Coast Guard confirming it has rescued a dozen people from the waters. We never anticipated uh, in this state that a hurricane, which did not make impact on our islands, will cause this type of wildfires. Wildfires that wiped out Communities. Walls of flames have cut off the emergency 911 system. Fire crews working all day and night with limited to no communications on areas of the island. The Hawaii Department of Transportation now urging visitors to leave and stop any non essential travel to Maui. Now, once again, six people have died so far as a result of these fires. And again, they anticipate that number may grow. And this afternoon, more than 2,000 people are in shelters in Maui County, just devastating. That video is it's, uh, hard to believe that that's real. Let's yeah. go to meteorologist Larry Maury for more on this wildfire emergency. Just total destruction down there, Larry. It's incredible. And you look at the fire weather warnings that are still in place for the Big Island, Maui, and all the other islands of Hawaii also have fire weather warnings still in place here for the rest of today because the conditions are so extreme with the high winds and the dry weather they've seen here across the islands for the past several weeks. But you, met, you heard the officials mention a hurricane that was close by. There's Hurricane Dora, which is about 800 miles to the south and west of the islands now, but it was close enough where it kicked up these winds of 40 to 60 mile per hour winds across the uh, islands of Hawaii yesterday and once again today. In fact, there were some wind gusts up around 80 miles per hour, but there's Dora. It's a category four hurricane. Look how far away it is from the islands, but because Dora is so strong, a category four, and we've also got a really strong area of high pressure setting north of Hawaii that squeezes the pressure gradient and increases the winds. We get these trade winds, which are really high wind gusts coming across the islands right now of 40 to 60 miles per hour. You combine that with some of the topography of the islands where we get the mountains, that air goes up over those mountains, comes down, dries out, and gets a little bit faster, kind of like the Santa Ana winds in California. So all those conditions came together to create that fire situation that we saw in Hawaii last night, and the threat continues there today. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.